In this video, I'm going to talk about augmented matrices, and I'm going to try to go as slowly as I possibly can because this is a kind of a complicated explanation. Now, a matrix is nothing more than a series of numbers placed in brackets, as you can see right here. All right. Now, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to have two uh, linear equations. Now, what is a linear equation? Well, this is something we've been dealing with for quite some time if you've been watching my videos. If you haven't, you need to go back and start watching my videos. This goes back to slope y-intercept. It goes into functions. If you'll remember, I've been talking about functions. Whether it be one-to-one -one functions or just regular functions, it doesn't matter. You have number lines. See, we have this number line graph down and across like this. You have your horizontal, you have your vertical. And you start drawing these number lines. That's what these diagonal lines are. They're number lines. And they can go down like this, they can go up like this, it doesn't matter. You're talking about these number lines here. Now these particular two number lines actually meet at a point. That's what we're going to be dealing with today. We want to find the coordinates of that point so that we can make sure that those two number lines, one and two, meet at that point. Okay? Now. Let's start with this equation right here. We have 3x plus 5y equals 7, and 3x plus 3y equals negative 9. Now, whatever x and y are, when you do both of these equations, your answer is going to end up being 7 and negative 9. And I'm going to show you this in just a second here. First of all, you're going to take all the numerical coefficients from these two equations. Do you remember the video where I talked to you about numerical coefficients? If you don't, stop the video, go back, learn it, come back here, and then we'll continue the lesson. Alright, for the rest of you, let's carry on here. You'll notice we have the 3, the 5, and the 7 from this first equation up here. 3, 5, and 7, 3, 5, and 7. And then, of course, we have the 3, the 3, and the negative 9 here. And we have that right here, 3, 3, and negative 9. That's where they come from, okay? Now, what we're going to do is we're going to multiply the second row here by negative 1. We're not going to change the second row. We're just going to multiply it by negative 1. We're going to set it off to the side. Negative 1 times 3 is negative 3. Negative 1 times 3 is negative 3. And negative... 1 times 9, it, well, negative 1 times negative 9 is 9. So now we've got negative 3, negative 3, and 9. What are we going to do next? We're going to add the negative 3, the negative 3, and the negative 9, or the positive 9, sorry, to 3, 5, and 7. Well, negative 3 plus positive 3 is 0. That's where this 0 comes from. Negative 3 plus 5 is positive 2. That's where the 2 comes from. 9 plus 7 is 16. That's where the 16 comes from. So now that first row has changed. But you'll notice that the second row did not. We have not done one thing with the second row. Even though we multiplied it by negative 1, we didn't change it on the, uh, in the actual brackets, okay? That's why I said we've got to set the second set off to the side and add it to the first. Alright, now what's the next thing we're going to do to this first set? Well, the first, next thing we're going to do is we're going to divide the 0, the 2, and the 16 by 2. Well, 0 divided by 2 is still 0. 2 divided by 2 is 1, because 1 times 2 is 2. 16 divided by 2 is 8. So now we have changed the first row. Now notice we got the 0, the 1, and the 8, but we still haven't changed that second row. The second row has remained 3, 3, and negative 9. Now it's time to change the second row. We're going to divide the second row by 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1. 3 divided by 3 is 1. And negative 9 divided by 3 is negative 3. So notice we haven't changed the first row. The first row is still 0, 1, and 8. But the second row is 1, 1, and negative 3. What are we going to do next? We're going to flip the first row with the second row. 
So now, the 1, 1, and negative 3 of, the, of this one right here is going to become the 1, 1, and negative 3 of this one right here. So in other words, we put these bottom numbers up here and these top numbers down here. So you still got 1, 1, and negative 3, and 0, 1, and 8. Now what's the last thing we're going to do to all of this? We're going to multiply the 0, 1, and 8 by negative 1. Alright? 0 times negative 1 is 0. 1 times negative 1 is negative 1. Negative 8 times... Uh, I'm sorry, 8 times negative 1 is negative 8. So now we have 0, negative 1, and negative 8. We're going to add those three terms here to these three top terms here. So 0 plus 1 is 1. Negative 1 plus 1 is 0. And negative 8 plus negative 3 is negative 11. Now notice this bottom bracket right down here. You notice there's a diagonal formed be between those 1's. There's a 1 in the first position, there's a 1 in the fourth position, there's a 0 in the second position, and there's a 0 in the third position. First position, second position, third position, fourth position. Okay? Now over here is the fifth and sixth position. We want this diagonal right here. Because now we can say that x is negative 11 and y is 8. How do we know that that's the intersection point? Because when we plug negative 11 and 8 into both of these equations, we're going to get the answers that we started out with. Let me explain. If you take 3 times negative 11, remember you got 3x here, now we know what x is, it's going to be negative 11. 3 times negative 11 is 33. Well, actually it's negative 33. If you take 8 times 5, you get 40. Well, 40 minus 33 is 7. So that solves that first equation. How about the second one? Negative 11 times 3 is negative 33. 8 times 3 is 24. 33 minus 24 is 9. So negative 33 plus 24 is negative 9, thus solving the second equation. Okay? So these two lines will intersect at point negative 11 and 8. That's the x and y coordinates where the two number lines will intersect. And that's all I got for this video right here. I hope I was slow enough to explain all this. There will be more on this in a future video, so stay tuned.